Okay, here it is. This is my old uh, Stratos Vision. Actually, just took all of the components off of it. And uh, so the servos on there. Still have my uh, other piece of equipment that I need to move over to the other plane, but that'll be later. We don't need it right away. And still have my spare uh, clover leaf. Cause I got one right there. Uh, biggest thing I noticed as a downfall of this one is uh, I measured the original uh, wing and then uh, added the ailerons on the back of that. So the KF was completely off. Everything was not quite right. It had tons of lift because of the extra large surface. Um, but that also gave it some strange control. And it would have a, a lot of issues with wind. So, after uh, liking the main body design of this one, I only did a little bit of changes on this one, just to give me more room. That one tapers back all the way from the second step here and then starts rolling around. This one goes all the way to, uh, sorry that was the first step, this one goes all the way to the second step and then just rolls off and around. Oh, sorry about that, got a little shaky. Uh, then I have my uh, RD32 on the front, my FPV camera just set back in there a little bit. They have a little bit of uh, foam sticking out past them just to protect them a little. But the RD32 is drop resistant and that guy is in a steel housing or aluminum housing. So it should be pretty good. Got my FPV transmitter. It's actually uh, embedded flush in the wing but still open for uh, cooling because this is the 1000 milliwatt. Needs quite a bit of cooling. Uh, he's disconnected right now because I was testing all the stabilization and everything on the plane. This guy has a... Had to add a gap in here for the hinge. Because if I had it hinge, I used a double layer of tape. So that it's hinged much better because I had my last one tear off. And then there's my uh, single 2200. Uh, it's only a 20C rating. It works good for this little motor. There's my uh, Dragon Link receiver, which is just tucked into its own little component or compartment. Inside, which you can't really see, I have the Dragon on screen display, KK board sitting all the way in the back. And then for uh, downloading data and configurations, I have the serial port extended out here. That way I can uh, plug into it and easily get to it. And my antenna for my uh, Dragon Link goes out to the tip out there. I need about a one inch longer tube here. Apparently a coffee stir straw is just shorter than the antenna. But it's getting pretty long so I'm gonna cut it short. That is it. It is a pretty heavy build, but uh, should be pretty good. It's mostly built to uh, withstand wind, and we'll see how it goes. Chan Yope, out.